You really think you need to film this? Oh, I mean, Mom, you saw the video. This is what I'm going to be yeah, doing from now on. This is just a conversation. I'm sorry, but I need to put something out. All right, but you know, you really need to tell him. Because it's not fair. Everybody knows on social media. And your father doesn't do social media, but it's not fair that everybody knows that you're not working. And he, and he doesn't know. It's not fair to him. Well, how am I going to tell him? I mean, honestly, Every single time that we bring anything up to him, if it's like a little bit like controversial or if it's something that he doesn't like, it just ends up ending up in a destruction and like a lot of yelling and then maybe somebody gets kicked out of the house. Yeah, but if you don't tell him the truth, it's going to be ten times worse when he does find out, especially when he finds out from some other source. You know, if something slips or something, like the other day when you, were when you took that sick day, mm -hmm. how did you feel? Telling him that you took a sick day when you really didn't take a sick day. I mean, and I felt bad because I knew. I mean. I knew, but I was covering. It's it felt like I didn't need to defend myself. Like, I, I, I don't know, Mom, I'm 29 years old. I'm approaching 30. Do I really need to defend, like, I when I'm going to take a sick day anymore? I to talk to sometimes. If, and, and I've told you before, both you and your brother, sometimes you just have to, like, write things down. That's what that, that's. That's what you could do. You could write him a little note. If you don't feel like you can communicate with him, sometimes if you write, take your time, write things down, and make sure you get all your thoughts out, and let him know that how unhappy you were and how you couldn't do something like that for the rest of your life and be so miserable and unhappy, and that this makes you happy and that you can be more creative. So like write it all down, write, write it all down and just give it to him this way he can read this and maybe comprehend it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But like how do I like, how do I put those things in the words? I, I mean, the words that he can understand, I don't, I don't know. Like, I think you could do it, just try. Just, just uh, put down how you're feeling. I think that'll help. Mm -hmm. do, either that or talk to him. Um, I don't know, wait till get down wait till an opportunity to talk to him, you know. But I always find it works works better if you if you like, you know, just write it down. Okay. And just try it. I mean if it <coughs> if it doesn't work, you're at least gonna have to try to talk to him. But tr but try it. What's it hurt to try it? Alright. I mean you can't let this fester. No, I know, I know. Okay. So I guess everybody else knows then? Pretty much. Everybody who does, the whole family knows. Uncle Larry knows. Uh, Aunt Jackie knows. Alright. I'll, I'll put something in writing. I'll put, I'll put my words on a piece of paper. Right. And how would you feel if everybody in the family knew something about your son and then you didn't know, and he didn't tell you. So you have to try, you have to try to get him to understand. Okay. Alright? <clears throat> I never thought I'd have to write a letter. Actually, it's not that bad of an idea. Guys, this is where I come to get anything done. This is where I used to study for things. This is where I used to work from home. This is where I used to just come to get away and paint things. Like that on the wall right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna write a nice, heartfelt letter to my father explaining everything that's going on. And I think he might actually respect that and take it well. And then this will be nothing that I have to worry about ever again. Never say never. Dear father, it's me, Jeffrey. Your son, from mother... Dear father, I know we don't talk often, or really at all. We don't get to see each other as much as we used to. Not like before. I mean, yeah, we talked last night, but... Dad. I don't really know how to put this into words, but I think Jesse might be a criminal and he shouldn't be trusted, especially if he says that I quit my job for YouTube. Dad, 
I'd like to start this off with an apology. I haven't been up front with you. I didn't take a sick day, but rather I quit my job. I was miserable, depressed, anxious, and above all, unchallenged and unfulfilled. I couldn't bear going into work, if you can call it that. Every day, wasting my life and creative identity away. So I quit. I'm back to doing YouTube and Twitch full time, and I'm feeling more like myself than I have in months. I don't expect you to understand immediately, but by communicating this to you, I feel as though it was the mature adult thing to do. I'm sorry for any mistrust this may create between us. I'm sorry for disappointing you, and I'm sorry for whatever backlash this is to the family. I love you, and I hope you can understand in time. Jeffrey. Dad, I quit my job for YouTube again. I was depressed and unchallenged, and Jesse does it, so I wanted to try it again too. Yeah, this one was the best. All right, I think this is it. I think this is the one. Ah, look who's back from his road trip. I'm not trying to be filming right now, I feel miserable. Why? Uh, cause you, dude. You're patient zero, and you're literally coughing on everything, and like, spitting out mucus on like the sink and crap. I don't know if I'm to blame for that. Oh, I think maybe you're a long trip, maybe you didn't sleep enough. You know what make me feel better? What's that? I told dad to quit your job. For What'd you say? I told dad to quit your job for poopy too. Oh, that's hilarious. That be, that that's what me. this is for. You see that? It's a letter. I wrote it all down. That way I don't have to talk to him. That you way he doesn't have to loser. yell. You're a loser. How am I? This Where did you get that idea, Mom? Yeah. Dude, she's been spinning that crap for years, dude. It's, it's bad. I, how about you just tell him with your with your voice? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because something bad could happen. I could tell him before I little I have. Mom's known it for how many years? Like, how old are they? Like, 50-something? Probably known for like 50 years or something. Go do it then. That's what I'm about to do. Right, let me go do it then. No, 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 no. Why don't you just take a seat? Why don't you just rest? They're your weary bones from all your weary travels. Yeah, you you weary me. person. You don't, right mm, don't have any testes? <laughs> Ma. I wrote it. I wrote it. I wouldn't give it to him now. What? I will. He's Why? not feeling good. What do you mean he's not feeling good? He feels sick. And if he's not, I'd give it to him later. Hold on to it. What do you, why does that matter? Like, because he's blaming you. He's not feeling good, and if he has to take a sick day tomorrow, he, you know he doesn't take sick days. I'm he's saying, why is he blaming me? I'm just saying he's not going to be as receptive as, you know, if he was in a good mood. He's not, he's not in a good mood. He's, he's not feeling good. All right, so, so what do I do then? You want to give it to him when... Thanks a lot. What? You get everybody in the family sick because you cough and hack and spit and sputter everywhere. Maybe you got it from someplace else. It wasn't. I didn't get it. You did it. You started it. I got responsibilities. I don't have time for this crap. I... Look at your mother. She ain't got off the couch in what, three days? I'll have you know I've been up. Yeah, you've been I up. I've been doing stuff. Well, you can't up. blame me. Like, if it's a virus, I can't do anything about that. Everybody gets sick once in a while. Yeah, but not when it takes down the whole family. He didn't do it on purpose. See? I don't know. He blows his nose, he sneezes everything. I haven't I'm sneezed to... one time. Look, I got a fever, I'm going to bed. I don't have time for this. I gotta go to work tomorrow. I got responsibilities and I can't well, take a ahead. sick day. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do? What? This was your idea. I tell you one thing: you better not be here during the house because he's watching on those cameras. Well, no he's kidding. To see you. Well, I'm just saying you're just gonna have to wait it out. Well, where am I gonna I go? I know if he was getting sick. He was fine last night. Where am I? Where am I gonna go then? Where am I gonna do? It's not like I have a job to go to. Go All my friends go are working. Visit Uncle Larry. 
What? He's home all day. He's bored. I know he's bored out of his mind. Just him and Dom. What's he doing? Like, does, can he walk? Like, what can he do? No, well, I don't know if he's doing any more than what he was doing at Christmas time. But no, he's got a walker. He needs help. He has to get so, I got, I, so I got to be a caretaker from Clary. Well, just call him and see if he can go over there or just pop up. Pop up. He, he won't care. He probably would enjoy the company. Yeah, I'm sure he would. <clears throat> right. And then just wait until he's in a bedroom. Until he's feeling better. Right. Right. What can I tell you? You know your father. Yeah. Don't. A singing telegram, or did you just leave it in his mailbox? Oh, it's still in your hand. Oh, oh, it's a little challenging, isn't it? Huh? To be truthful about something that probably will cause him to break crap? Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to him. We'll give it to him. Dude, welcome to my world. Are you sure about this? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, then we share the same hey, hey, now. hey, I hope you feel better. I feel better already, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you, you sound it. Word, dude. You sound like Jesse Pinkman in a blender. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Science and magnets, dude. You're hilarious. No, really I'm, funny. I'm just, I, I feel better, dude. I might be physically. That's uh, great. You know what I did today? But I'm mentally amused by this. Dude, this I ran and mind. I lifted today. Mm. Yeah, you are running. You're definitely running from something. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be good. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, Jeffrey. Uh -huh. I'm sure the longer you wait, the better the reaction. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Try and beat a few months. Works so well for you. That's what I'm, hey. how, how long do you have? You have a couple weeks? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you're just gonna, I, that's, that's my life, dude. I'm just saying for you, you should probably worry about yourself right now. Because trust me, it's always worse the second time around. That's why... I'm the second child, dude. and now you're going to be the second shot. Dude, you're your, your nose it matches your friggin' shirt. You're done. Yeah. You're done. Oh, oh, wow, it actually matches your room now, too. Isn't that hilarious? I'm over it, dude. Oh, so it's over it. It's New Year, and I'm over it. Uh -huh. What are you doing for the New Year? Oh, you're starting off bad. No, bad. right foot. That's what I'm doing. You can take a lesson. <sighs>